Okay. Let me get you a bow. Let me get you a bow here. And I actually have a bow. Oh, I'm oh, in creative mode, so I've got like everything. But yeah. So let me let me go ahead and get this prepped here. First first thing we have to do is make sure that there's uh, enough zombies here to fight. So hopefully they'll spawn. Oh yeah, here we go. Got some zombies coming in here. So let me go ahead and get this prepped up. Oh Press hey, button. Milby's Stop. here. Hi Milby. You having fun in Wales? Oh. Milby. Oh. Hello. Yeah, there's a whole park in uh, Vetch's map uh, named after him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Milby, the sheep. Yeah, the sheep, yeah. So there you go, yeah, Dead Island there. Just go ahead and take care of that oh, zombie there. this is there. interesting, <laughs> yeah, how they're... I, I don't think I'm striking a single zombie. <laughs> this is incredibly difficult. It, it, it is. Like, they keep that jumping up and down and everything. It, yeah. Oh, this would be really good training for a race for wool, though. It would, man. It would. So, I should. I might have to set up some kind of a training, uh, training course for that, or something. Some like PVP range or something like that. So, yeah, the server lag is kind of hindering this a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. But uh, it's kind of a fun little game. Gr Grim is really creative about this sort of thing, and looks like the zombies actually kind of. Oh, his, his minecart got destroyed somehow. Oh, probably because I shot it. Oh, did you? There we go. He's back in there. Hey, I think you hit him. Awesome. He only had to be stopped for over a minute. Oh, he actually went back into the waiting area. I forgot if you if you push them the wrong way, they go back into the waiting area. Let me try this again. Okay, cool. Get out of here, zombie. There. There. And he's gone. Okay. No, that was not a success. Whoa, there's more you than one lead. of them now. Yep, that's we're a we're into we're it's difficulty level two now, man. You gotta you gotta focus here. Yeah, I, I don't think that this is gonna go very well. <laughs> Like, it's weird because the carts are actually like three meters ahead of the zombies, so I don't know what I'm trying to shoot uh, at. Oh, yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, one of those extremely yeah. uh, lag dependent things. Oh, I got so. one of them now that oh, they're stopped. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yo, now that they're stopped, sitting there you go. There we man. go. Just dropping them zombies in there. That's pretty good, dude. So. Yeah, yeah no. just kind of a fun little thing. He, he uh, took a little zombie spawner there and turned it into a mini game, so. I kind of like that. No, that's really cool. It's neat that you have such creative folks in your community. Oh, yeah. We have, we have a lot of really amazing builders and all that kind of stuff. So happy to have everyone here. Um, and, I mean, my server allows pretty much anybody of any skill level. You don't have to be a super ultra skilled builder uh, to be on the server by any means. It's just kind of nice that I do have some people who are extremely good at uh, – um, at building stuff so uh, let's take some questions here we've been kind of disregarding the chat for a little bit so uh gray wolf has been asking a lot of good questions says uh sil slash joe what are your favorite solid ore blocks iron gold diamond or lapis you know i have to say i have a special special place in my heart for lapis so i might have to go with that because i like dyed wool a lot I was, that was one of my favorite things that they added to minecraft and it is still one of my absolute favorite things so i would have to say out of those four i like lapis the most I mean, theoretically, you can only – iron is the most special out of those because you can make other things with it. But, like, gold and uh, diamond are more or less just for tools, I guess. So I would have to say lapis. But go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say uh, I never really uh, saw much appeal to iron or gold blocks until I was playing uh, Vetch's Infernal Sky 2 map where oh, in, yeah. in the ghost town there's a whole vault full of, like, chests with a bunch of stuff in it and uh, – blocks full and it, oh, there are yeah, actually the like vault. blocks of iron and gold in the vault and yep. i'm like oh well now this is really exciting because now i can build awesome rail carts and everything yeah um, i really like that uh that a lot too uh, when i did that as a speed run i was just like oh this is a really cool place the bedrock vault and all that so um and that was fun to do man i've, I've done i've done uh, sunburn islands Infernal Sky 2, Legendary, and I think one more of his maps as speedruns. I'm, I'm going to be doing um, Kaizo Caverns as a speedrun sometime this week, probably on Wednesday. Oh, that's uh, cool. It's going to be hard. Yeah, that one uh, I heard got messed up kind of by the, uh, you know, le the, by the recent updates, like with the yeah. food and everything. It wasn't really designed for it. Yeah, well, they kind of said that, that about Legendary, too. People were saying Legendary was impossible after the 1.8 update, and I did a speedrun of it in eight and a half hours. So, I don't know. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, the entire map. I mean, granted, I already knew it, but um, still one of those kind of things. So let me see here. Oh, so you had uh, already played it before, though. I had played it. I okay, had played I was going to say, if you can do Legendary from start to finish in eight and a half hours without having yeah. seen it, you know, that's pretty good. Yeah, without having seen it, yeah, I would have been a little crazy. Um, so somebody in the chat had just uh, mentioned something. Oh, yeah, um, 
Tease Ray, if Rafi, I, this guy's got a lot, bunch of consonants in his name. Uh, so, Sil, are you going to do that playthrough? I feel bad. Uh, that playthrough with Joe of Deep Space Turtle Chase. Yeah, I'd still like to do that with you and um, Chloe and Pause. I'd Cleo, still like that. Cleo. Cleo, I take that dyslexia, dyslexia thing. Oh, no worries. Uh, yeah, uh, with uh, Cleo and uh, and Pause, um, absolutely, man. I, I, it's just a matter of scheduling it out because we're gonna have to. We might have to do it like on a weekend or something. Yeah, um, scheduling with Cleo is always a, a little bit difficult because of the uh, time zone difference in London. But yeah, I, I know you said you had already uh, played through the map, so you would already know everything. But like, I yeah. think it would be awesome having you as like the dungeon master narrator, and you can like that would be... <laughs> mess with us, and and you know, t you you could read yeah. the things dramatically, like. Oh, Welcome yeah. to the Deep Space Turtle Chase. Or whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the Deep Space Turtle Chase. Yeah, like that. Star that was way better than mine. Starring Joe Hills, Cleo, and Pause Unpause. Watch as they go through many adventures trying to figure out what the hell to do in this epic adventure through space. Yeah, I've got the I got the voice for that a little bit. So. Oh, yeah, that would be awesome. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things, too, where that way you can kind of keep the tempo up. So if we start, like, milling around or, yeah. you know, uh, getting lost or whatever, yeah. you know. Literally, these guys know that they have to flip the switch right over here. Oh, whoop. Spoiler alert. Whoops. <laughs> you know? So. Yep. Uh, okay, so uh, there's one other thing I want to show you in Grimm's area real quick. So if you would just come back to the surface and head over to his pirate ship, it is not too far from here. Oh, yeah, I can magically fly. Woo! Magically fly, that's right. So much better than normally flying, where you have to have one of them uh, high-pressure, low-pressure differentials. Such a pain. Yeah. 